Hey everyone, John Doyle from Optics EQ. Today I want to talk about Saratoga, the impending Saratoga meet starting on Thursday, July the 13th. I'm going to look at a couple of races and I'm going to really focus in on notes patterns, both good and bad patterns in those races. Show you how to do that. I'm going to start with race four. I'm going to start the favorite in this race. Uh, it's a Chad Brown horse, Salama. It's, uh, I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. But um, look at this horse first, because I think this horse is beatable. Uh, let's look at uh, this horse's notes pattern. See, this horse um, started off his career around 71, 75, which are kind of low figures, even uh, for three-year-olds. For three -year -olds, it's kind of low. Um, and you notice in her second start, they started this horse at Tampa, and then the second start at Saratoga was off a layoff, and this horse did not run well at Saratoga. Um, now, different point in the career, right? But no cover, extremely wide, didn't run well. Uh, came back and improved dramatically and thought this horse ran a good, really good race. Uh, we kind of thought this was a good made, uh, a non-winner one uh, race burst. But notice that the horse got a red keyword tactic. That means this horse got a favorable trip as well as in the next race. And that was a non-graded stakes win, the winter memories uh, at Aqueduct um, late last year, okay? Comes back um, off that race, they were like thinking highly of the horse, like a you know greatest stakes horse, and they put her in a grade one, and she just lays an egg. She has the flow, she has the trip, and she just no finish. Finishes seven. Uh, she's coming back off a 199 day layoff. You've seen what happened last time she came off a layoff. No, I don't know if you can directly compare, but to me it's still a negative pattern. Especially that this horse started off his speed figures so low. I just, I don't know, especially her starting at Tampa too, makes me consider maybe this wasn't, she wasn't looked at as this top caliber. And then they kind of got excited about her races at, uh, at Aqueduct uh, and maybe kind of moved her up faster than she should have. She comes back off a layoff. She's going to be the favorite. And this is the horse I, you know, want to be playing against in this race based on another horse's pattern that I think looks more favorable. Uh, let's go to that horse. So I'm going to go to the number 1A. And this is a entry for Christophe Clement, uh, Mesadora, Mesadora. Uh, and if you look at this horse's pattern, it's a little bit um, different. So more of a positive pattern. This is a horse, first of all, she's a five-year-old mare. Uh, she came off a similar layoff last year, 148 days um, than she did um, just recently. And in that pattern, in her second start, she just exploded, ran a big, huge race um, off that layoff. Uh, then was able to retain form, ran a good race in the perfect spring, but probably just not good enough. And they dropped her and she delivered in that race, another B plus at uh, today's level. At today's level, at today's track. So I'm just thinking this is somewhat a similar repeat pattern that she has. She's came off a layoff to run in a sprint, uh, a non-graded uh, non stakes race. She ran a decent race. The note there was stretch improve. Let's look at the extended comment. Always look at, when you see a blue dot, always you want to go always click these and see the extended comment uh, or hover over it. it. Says he was held up behind horses late on the turn. Look for a straight, slight stretch out. Had a similar good pattern last year. So I kind of was, no taker was kind of looking at this pattern already and deciding that this horse would improve. So he comes back and they, Barn was obviously confident. They put her in a grade three. Uh, she was wide, no cover. And that was a day when the rail was very favorable. She was against the bias. So you can almost project improvement off of that race too. So if she, you know, if you, if you kind of go with the 88 and improve, uh, projected uh, improved performance, she could run in the 90s as she's proven before. And that's well above the optics figure inch here. So to me, she's a much better uh, value bet, even though she's going to be the second choice and maybe five to one, five to two or, or, or you know, two to one, maybe even. I just think uh, she offers much more value in multi-race wagers uh, than the five. Just beating the favorite in these multi-race wagers is a big deal. So for me, she's the, the one. The other horse that I know is going to take money too. So you may even get better, uh, especially if they scratch one part of this entry, which I'm not sure they will. But if they do, is the uh, other Chad Brown, California Queen. I just, she might have needed the race, but she couldn't push by the horses at uh, Monmouth in the last one. If you look at extended comments, she stalked. She had like almost like a perfect stalking trip. Uh, she hooked the speed on the turn, but just couldn't get by that one. 
And uh, I just think that this race, you know, maybe maybe second off the layoff, she improves. But another horse, just not just iffy with all these layoffs, hard to kind of get a gauge on her. She's just it's not the same kind of uh, form she was early in her career. OK, so for me, uh, it's the 1A in race four coming off a positive notes pattern as opposed to the favorite. OK, let's go to race six because there's another uh, horse. Oh, just one other thing I want to check on the four. Fourth race was the 1A. Just I just want to make sure the plot looked good. Uh, it's a red fit plot, a square in quadrant two and hovering quadrant two. That looks good to me, especially if there's some horses up front that I'll set this set it up for the 1A. So no uh, no negative there in terms of a plot for 1A. Uh, the other race here was the uh, sixth race. I just thought and it's another Clement horse. So if Clement is 1.5 over and under wins on uh, Thursday, I'm betting the over. Uh, Yarrow, this is a horse, again, repeating a good notes pattern, but with the with a little bit of a wrinkle to it, right? So this horse uh, last year came off 152-day layoff um, in around the same, you know, like spring, late, you know, springtime. Uh, came back, uh, ran a, a winning race the next time, okay? And then third off the layoff was the best race, ran 88, first time versus winners at Saratoga, at this surface, at this distance, okay? That's a good thing. Um, so, you know, we know that this horse is capable of running 88, which fits today's optic fig range. Now let's go to more recent form. Let's start with this third off a layoff race. Uh, well, let me, let's start with this race off the layoff and then go to see if it's a kind of a same kind of pattern. So ran an 88, which actually ran pretty good um, against non winners two, came back, and didn't improve number wise, but let's see why. This horse was in traffic, got bottled up, was against the flow in a better than looked effort. So let's go to look at the note, the extended comment, uh, was held up behind horses leading the turn. Okay, so in a better than looked effort, this horse ran fifth. Now this is third race off layoff, shortens up, gets Saratoga, and I think it, it's, it's all guns. And you could tell this horse has never run, you know, a bad race in terms of a red figure. Um, and even the races where this horse, you know, finished out of the money, like, you know, out of the trifecta, there was excuses. The fifth here was an excuse. Um, the, the, the excuse here. So this horse is really a, a board hitter. And this is the horse you want to include in all your exotics vertically and also multi-race wise. Yarrow looks like a pretty good horse, pretty good horse at four to one. Let's see how this horse plots. Uh, let me just get to the sixth race. Let me clear out this thing. Big square. Looks like there's a ton of pace in this race. Um, yeah, so this, this horse looks like a horse that's could be sitting on a good race, plots well. Look at the surface and distance plot, the biggest square. It's got the best late pace. Going to need to trip out with Franco, but... Another horse that uh, looks like to be on an improving optics notes pattern. So that's it for me. Races four and six, notes improving patterns. John Doe from Optics EQ. Check us out at Optics EQ on Twitter and also check out the web type, website at OpticsEQ.com. There'll be a lot more stuff coming as uh, Saratoga and Del Mar really kind of kick into gear. Remember, get the whole meat. Take it easy, go slow, and uh, Pick your spots, okay? Thanks, everyone.